as we speak, the Tham Luang Cave rescue mission is under happening. It's happening there. Uh, the leader of this mission, Narong Sak Osotanakorn, has asked that media gives space for those who are rescuers there. CNN, please. Uh, these boys who already are in the hospital uses uh, sunglasses because they need uh, they, their eyes are very sensitive right now. One quite nice quite nice thing that to say about this situation that Elon Musk just were in that cave with that submarine small small submarine it's not suitable for this situation but Elon Musk was there in that Tam Luan cave and uh, he named that submarine based on this boys team wild boar and that is something beautiful uh, to be saved today there are four children and the coach uh, and there comes out one doctor and three navy seals those from that team those who come out today is that 11 years old boy and the coach so culture is still there uh, there are 90 divers professional divers there from which 40 are from Thailand and 50 is from other countries all over the world our <laughs> our own diver Mikko Pasi is there and Mikko Pasi just published a picture from there where the his diver suit is very muddy and he said that today we continue the mission. Uh, I just watched from CBC News, which was good, uh, Dr. Peter Lin explained quite well uh, what, what those boys are going and are, are going to be go, go through. They uh, have to keep those boys uh, like bubble kid, uh, because um, when human is in those conditions in the cave uh, where there's nothing to eat, the body starts from the sugar and it goes to cut cutting to keep organs alive it goes to the fat and after that it starts to eat proteins and that might and probably do lead to kidney failure liver failure and heart stops beating and uh, he mentions this refeed syndrome where where though you give food to those children the heart just stops beating uh, it's because of that long time malnutrition uh, there are he says that if there are some diseases that these boys perhaps could take with them uh, doctors have taken care of those things already long time ago but the thing here is that uh, the hospital has to protect these boys from because they are so weak they has to protect these boys that uh, healthy humans does don't bring those boys something that normal body can protect but those those boys cannot protect right now their own body. So no hugs, no gentle touch, sadly. Uh, and there is this bat deliver 
this histoplasmosis that affects lungs. So those are one of many things that doctors has to protect these boys. Okay. I think the liver streams, liver, <laughs> Liv liver streams, live streams start right now. So I put this to the net. And this is my way to show that I see, I hear, and I care a lot. For example, these people's lives, and I support the good spirit, and I will put links down below this video, where I just, I just today I have cried from uh, emotions and happiness that other people care to the whole world care. Keep up the good spirit, don't trash. Today we see the rest of this story. Take care.